Connor and I are doing something very fun today. We are going on a submarine, the USS Croker. Here it is. We are actually going to go inside this submarine and see how the submarine nurs, <laughs> the submariners, used to uh, live when they were under the water. You ready, Connor? All right, here we go. We got to walk down this big ramp here. To get to the submarine. All right. I'm so excited. I would be so claustrophobic if I had to spend any time on a submarine. I don't know if I could do it really. I would definitely be, uh, I don't know, once we were underwater and all the hatches were sealed up, and we're just going underneath water, I don't think I could handle it. Here you go guys, we're going in. Oh, look at that we come right down into the torpedo room the forward torpedo room that's where they would load the torpedoes how many do they have there four torpedoes wow two shooters two shooters um four yeah that's what i was saying they have four torpedo tubes four shooters and here, this is kind of interesting. Look, they have the actual torpedo here, which is really, really long. But then they got the warhead here. That's actually the torpedo warhead. Wow. a lot of things that go squeak on this thing can you imagine what it would be like I mean if the compartment was flooding they'd have to swing these doors shut boom and you'd be locked in if this if this compartment was flooding behind me if you didn't get through this door quick enough they would shut it and you drowned in here but it would save the whole ship from uh, Sinking the whole submarine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call it a ship Here's the officer shower that is so tiny uh, What are, what is this this is the officers pantry Which is still extremely small But I guess everything on a submarine would be Small. Here's the war room. I guess that's where they would figure out where uh, they were going next and what they were going to sink. Area 5. What is this thing? The commanding officer stateroom. I see these guys, Paul Mall cigarettes there. Now this is just the officer's stateroom. Looks like they had three bunks in there. Still very tight quarters, but not too bad. Better than this guy, what's he have? Petty officer's quarters. And here's the office for the ship. The yeoman's and again one of these watertight doors that they would close if it was sinking 
or if you were taking on water, I should say, to stop the submarine from sinking. This is the control room. Main hydraulic control is right here. They have them all locked up so we can't do any damage to the submarine. Here's the emergency steering. These sounds are from the submarine's propeller. As wow. the propellers turn rapidly, they create small momentary cavities in the water. This effect is called... Wish we could go down there. When the water rushes back into the cavities, it produces the sounds... But we can't. Oh, look what's up here. I wonder if we eventually will get up there, Connor. No? Cavitation depends mainly upon the speed and depth of the submarine. For example... Are you ready to move on? Type submarine running at Look at this little tiny seat. Cavitation at speeds of three and a half to four knots see? above. I'm going to sit here and see what it's like. Wow. Cavitation is usually absent. And you I don't know. Only you know what? Sounds. Here is a sub of Set this type camera up. speed of three knots. Where we set it up over here. I can, oh, look at it. I can do the. I can actually clean the ship out. Look at that. Well, I would think if I could do any damage, they wouldn't let me hear it. <laughs> they wouldn't let me turn it. So I think I'm okay, buddy. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna start the engines or nothing like that. Oh, here's the diving control station. At oh yeah, speed, that, that would be the plane. And you can easily hear the beat of the propeller. Wow. All right, we'll move on. There's no one else on the submarine right now, so I'm not wearing my mask. Well, Connor's gonna take the camera. Are you gonna do some filming? Yeah, it's gonna film me. Film me going through one of these hatches. Also depends on the depth of the Come depth. on, I'll let you film for a little bit. As the depth becomes greater, cavitation decreases. Wow, what's this? The radio room. I don't think I'd want that job. But look, this is what I would look like if I was on the going through this door. Oh, look, you can actually. Ah, I can actually shut you in there. Bye, Connor. Goodbye. <laughs> no, gotta behave. A lot of these things now you have to behave you don't want to you want to respect the ship and uh you know there's there's also cameras and stuff they could know what you're doing in here so you got to be real careful but we want to preserve we want to preserve we, we want to uh just do that fun but we really want to preserve the submarine for many more people that come here so they can enjoy it also so whenever you have to respect Anytime you come to some place like this, you gotta really respect the museum. And a lot of people do a lot of hard work to keep all this stuff up. So, uh, you know, I am here at the Buffalo, Erie County, Naval Park. And uh, if you come here and visit, it'd be great. They really need the support. They keep all these ships up and uh, it costs a lot, a lot of money to keep all these ships up and have them preserved so we can walk through them and enjoy them. And of course, someone like me can share this on YouTube with you so you guys can experience the submarine too. I know there's many submarines you can tour in the United States, but there's a lot of people that's never been on a submarine and they might be really interested in this. And uh, like I said, should always respect the ships that we tour. Anytime we do anything in a museum or anything like that, we should always respect that and leave it how we found it so the next person can enjoy it as much as we did. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna behave the rest of the tour. And uh, this is where they would eat. Look at this. I'm glad I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not too big and fat. I couldn't even fit in here. I was too big. This is nice, I could eat here. You notice on the tables here, they all have lips on the table. So that way, 
when the submarine moves, your plate would go and stop, and it wouldn't fall on the floor and break and crash. So that's what these little ledges are for here. All right, let's move on. Enough of the galley here. Looks like someone would sleep in these bunks. Do not climb on bunks for display only. These are actually pretty nice bunks though. But you would have to be pretty short. Looks like this might be like a medical officer's area. Is it me or is the room? Are we slanted? Oh yeah, we're totally slanted. Are we totally yeah. slanted? Going down. <laughs> I feel like, hey, you feel me. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm walking downhill. Woo! Because I am walking downhill. Alright, let's keep touring. It looks like we might be getting to an engine room. Alright, this is obviously, there's no sign here. This obviously looks like it might be some type of restroom. Shower area. Just, I mean, just to show you how small the shower area is, look, look. This is really tiny. There's not really much room in here to, to actually take a shower. Nice sinks. There's the toilet, look at that. Everyone just sits there and uses the toilet. Look, with all the wires and everything around there. Some magazines there you can read while you're using the bathroom. Alright, again. This looks like the engine room of the submarine. That must be the piston. Look at that. Are you filming that? Oh, yeah. That's, oh and look at that. You can look down in this one. They removed the piston. And you can actually see the uh, crankshaft down in there. Here, move the camera a little bit over this way. There it's you go. Hard. Yeah, and then you can actually see the crankshaft down inside there. That would have been for one of the... Right here, can you get a shot of this right here? It says the General Motors Diesel, two-stroke. Model number, horsepower, 1,600. Alright, let's keep kind continuing over. See what we can find here. Looks like another, another engine this way. Can you just imagine how hot? Oh, you go for a little bit. I get my face. <laughs> can you imagine how hot this would be inside this room? With these diesel electrics going off and running, it would be so hot in here. It's a very tiny compartment. But once again, they took this exhaust manifold off right here so you can view the pistons. But behind the counter here, he turns around, this is what it would look like if it was all put together. This is what the engine would look like. And that's what it would have sounded like, but we're going to be moving to another compartment. Not exactly sure where we're going. Definitely looks like some kind of electronics room with breakers. Yeah, we got the high voltage right here. Sorry. I don't know if you can shine in there or not. And look, we have another bathroom. This one looks a lot nicer. It's a little bigger. What would this be? It looks like something for the electric power. This must be controlling the battery power that would be going to the electric motors to turn the propellers. Oh, look at this. This is the rear torpedo compartment. We must be coming to the end of the submarine here. Look at these torpedoes. 
Oh, here you can actually see the torpedo tube down through here. Can you see down in there? Oh, wow. Look at that. Those doors would open up, that torpedo would just fly out of there. <sighs> Sorry about the sound effects. Look at that one. I feel so bad. <laughs> All right, ready to go up? Mm -hmm. Up and out. Hello. Still filming? Yeah. If you look down the ship, you can see that. I mean, the ship. I keep calling it the ship. I'm sorry. It's a submarine. If you look down the submarine, you can see where it's actually not level. It's actually cocked a little bit. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. But now, can we go out this way? You said? Yeah, this is where we go out. All right. Oh look, if you film this, this gives you a little bit better idea of how big gives you a little better idea of how big the torpedo is. I mean, look at this. Wow. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Of the USS Cracker. <laughs> <laughs>